Hi, it's Dawn here, and today I would like to take a look at these 6-inch steel drums, um, or steel tongue drums. Um, these both are from Amazon, and I'm just doing a quick review of um, them both. Uh, they're called steel tongue drums because these are referred to as tongues, and it's a steel. Uh, both of them are going to be very similar in that you have these rubber feet, you have this, you can take this off, um, you can place magnets inside. Magnets may help with tuning. I did not find that to be the case um, for a small drum, uh, maybe the larger ones. Uh, these just pop in, and so that's pretty standard. Also, um, if you are going to tune these, then you can also go from the bottom and remember that you can you can tune them. Let's see. It's a little bit easier to try to twist that rubber back on there. So just remember that you, you can go from down here. Um, I don't understand the tuning of these guys because on the Amazon their listing, if you look at their picture, it says that they're tuned to D. If you look at their um, description, it says something else. But I, I don't find the descriptions for either one of these to be exactly accurate because neither one of these said if this was a pentatonic or not. And when I got them, this is a pentatonic and this is not. Um, so the a pentatonic is basically that it's going to not have the <clears throat> the four and the seven. Um, it's it's just a different kind. These note okay. Let's back up. <laughs> Six inches in diameter steel. This one came with a thicker case and it came with um, some extra stickers. These are little thingies that you put on your fingers and you can tap. I did not have any luck with that. Um, it also came with this little plastic mallet holder and these little short mallets. Okay. Now this one, ooh. oh, and there are stickers over here, but it's kind of ugly. And they can come off, and they're kind of hard to see. So, this one actually is not quite as deep as this one. So it looks a little bit smaller, but it's still six inches. And same thing at the bottom. They come in different colors. I like this sticker a little bit better. It shows up and it, I think it looks a little nicer. It's a little easier to see, but there is, can't, it's really hard to tell between, this is a one with a dot on, on the, on the top of the one. That means it is an octave higher versus a one without the dot. It's just a little hard to see because usually there's a little bit of space between that and this one doesn't have it. Um, this one came, I believe, with this case and little bag, manual. The manual looks to be the same, although the other one came with a bigger, just a little bit bigger in size. But um, the manual is not that helpful either because they're showing it on a bigger steel drum and things are different. Um, it also is showing the notes for... And it's not, I don't know, it's not really telling me much. And then like for my penta, um, for my pentatonic one, it was giving me music that had fours in it and stuff. So it's like I can't even, I can't even play these because of, you know, if they have any four or sevens, my pentatonic doesn't have any four or sevens. So... Um, quality wise is good. Both of them is good. 
seems to be great. This one has little bumpies on it. This one doesn't have so much bumpies on it. Honestly, um, overall, I don't... I think the bigger steel drums are much better sound and everything. So, uh, mallet. The green one over here came with much longer mallet. This one came with a much shorter mallet. Oops. There we go. About there, okay. All right, so um, for the sound, this one, you're going to go one, one, it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and back to one. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. So you can go straight up the scale for this one, but the pentatonic you cannot because it doesn't have four and seven. different sounds um, and I just wish that they were more accurate in their description so that you know what you're getting they really should provide a clip of each one um, I think so that you can see it the sounds it's gonna be hard it's gonna be hard to tune these guys magnets don't really work because the the um, the tongues are already so short like this is the longest tongue so how you would actually tune these is do you see how this cut is shorter than this cut so what you would do is when you cut it when you when the tongue is shorter than the note is higher when the tongue is longer than the note is lower so you're bigger tongues is a lower note and as it gets smaller and smaller it gets higher so this is your smallest time and your largest time so you can make a time longer by cutting by cutting it and you can make it shorter by cutting it off here at the top and make that shorter so that's how you would tune it but that's a little bit difficult so with the magnet method same thing you place it here you move it or you start from here and you move it and depending on where you move it the the extra weight of that magnet is going to affect and it's going to change that tone so um, it's quite easy to do that with a large steel drum but not very easy at all to do it with a small one so um, oh let's see 
let's see, to play this, you don't want to be stiff. You want to lightly hold it in your hand and you're go you want to make it bounce again. So it's going to be, you're going to hit, hit, but let it, let it come back up. Let it just, so like, just practice holding it very lightly and just let it, let it bounce back up on its own. And try it with the lowest one because that's going to be the one that, um, see how it does this? And then you can control it. So if you hold your wrist, so let your wrist bounce back up. You don't want to deaden it. And then, of course, you can always experiment with hitting it. So there you go. Hope it helps and thanks for watching. Bye guys.